Hello everybody. Uh, in this video I'll introduce uh, arrays in Excel VBA. It's not too hard and it's really powerful that stuff that you can hold um, data in an array. So let's look at the, this worksheet here. We have uh, a column here. We have five numbers in it and let's just say that uh, we don't know what the si how many numbers are going to be in this column. So there might be six, there might be seven, there might be a hundred, who knows. And what we want to do is take this column of numbers and hold it in an array, put it in an array, and then put it back on this worksheet here in uh, column B. So this is just an example of using an array and filling an array and then getting the elements from an array and all an array is is a structure that holds elements that can be integers that can be strings um, you can have array of anything really you can have a one-dimensional array which is what this is going to be and if you know the size it's called a static array if you don't know the size it's called a dynamic array so this is a dynamic array because we don't know the size of the array you could have a two-dimensional array which would have um, more columns but I'll put a video on that later so let's look how we fill this array so first thing I did was I created a subroutine called make array I declared an array here called my array since I don't know the size I don't put the size in here if I knew the size was a hundred I would put a hundred here and then what kind of array is it going to be integer. If you had an array of uh, strings or words, you would put as string, but this is going to be all, all numbers. Then I declared a variable called index, x row, and the size. Index is the position of the array, uh, the position of the element in the array, and what's important to know is that arrays in VBA have an index, a base index of zero. So if you have five elements in your array, the size of your array is going to be 4 and the base index is going to be 0 so it would go from position 0 position 1 2 3 4 that's 5 elements so that's important is that the index starts out as 0 okay so now I want to loop through this column so I'm going to need an X row variable to increase the row and then I'm going to also need to increase the size of the array because I don't know the size of the array and I want to increase it just by one um, after every time I put a variable an element in the array and also remember the index starts out as zero so you declare an array up here you don't know the size but then you need to redimension the array here and that's what you do you take this size of one and you, now you have an array of size one so it can hold one thing one element so now let's step through this and you ha I have a do loop here that's going to loop down column A until it reaches a blank cell and it'll have all the elements it'll put all the elements in the array so it's going to fill the array so how's it do that well here I select the cell which I selected this cell here now I want to put that value I'm going to put the value here into the array. So remember index is 0 so this value is going to go into my array index 0. Now I'm going to so here we, we fill the array. Now I'm going to increase the size of the array by 1 and I'm going to redimension the array right here. So I increase the size and now I redimension the array to that size. So originally size was 1 it could hold one thing after I put something in it I want to make it one bigger so I did that here and now I make the array ability to have the ability to hold one more so this is redimensioning the array you have to put preserve in because if you don't when you redimension it you'll lose all the values in in the array um, now I increase the index by one because next time I want the, the number 67 to go in index number one so then I do that and then I increase X row and now I'm going to move down here and just keep 
um, filling the array. So I fill the array. Now what I want to do in column B is is print the array. So I make XR1 and index 0 and index is 0 because I want to print the array from number 2. So number 2 is in index 0. So I'm going to print 2 right here in cell B1. And how do I do that? I, I do another loop that is going to uh, go until size equals 1. So originally size started out at 0 or size started out at 1 and then size was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and in here size is incremented but it falls out of loop so size is 7 right now. So I want to start here and print every element in the array and I'll know when to stop when size is 1 because I have one extra in size size is one more than I need it to be so instead of size equals 0 here I make size equals 1 if you change this to 0 you'll see what I mean but just remember that this is how you would do it so now that uh, I want to loop until size is 1 right now size is 7 there's six elements in the array right now but size is 7 because I increased size here and when it looped around it didn't go back through okay so I want to loop until size is 1 I'm going to decrease size and then I'm just going to select the cell and take the val value of the index index is 0 and put it in the value of the cell okay so let's see how this works so there you can see index 0 is 2 index 1 is 67 let's do this index 3 is 43 my array index 4 is 56 my array index 5 is 89 and my array index 6 is 78 and now it'll fall out of here because size is 1 and you can see it's gonna end the sub so that's basically it um, mess around with it because arrays are very useful and uh, they're gonna help you out a lot uh, just managing data and comparing things uh, looping through arrays is a good thing so uh, if you have any questions